I think the journey to the Super Bowl and winning a Super Bowl is arguably the greatest accomplishment in sports. The year we went to the Super Bowl, I was 23 years old. I thought, well, this is easy. We're, we're going to go back every year. And as it turns out, never got back there. Things are different now than they were then. Matter of fact, Lyle Alzado and I took a cab to the game. Ironically enough, we got stuck in traffic. I thought he was going to kill the cab driver, but we had to walk the last quarter mile to the stadium. But as it turns out, the cab ride was well worth it. For Lyle, having played so long in the league, watching the emotions that welled up in him at the end of that football game, realizing that he was finally going to be a champion, that was remarkable. I wish I could go back and tap that 23-year-old on the shoulder and tell him to soak it in, to appreciate the moment. Time moves on. Organizations go on, your career comes to an end, but the one thing they can never take away is that championship. Take it from Super Bowl legend and the Hall of Famer Howie Long. There is nothing in the world quite like Super Bowl Sunday. Tonight, 105,000 fans here in North Texas Plus, more than 200 million around the world will watch the Super Bowl for the ages. Hey, this matchup has it all. Two historic franchises, dynamite defenses, elite quarterbacks, and a spectacular venue. Plus, we've got a Super Bowl pregame like you've never seen. Visits here on the set from some of the great dynasties in NFL history. President Barack Obama will sit down with Bill O'Reilly. And we've got more stars than the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Add great food, music, and plenty of football, and it adds up to a battle between two of the most successful franchises of all time, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. The winner will be crowned Super Bowl champion. Come on outside and stay a while, folks. Welcome to the program. I'm Kurt Menefee. We welcome you to our Rich Crackers pregame show and Fox's coverage of Super Bowl 45. Joining me in the studio, as always, with a grand total of eight Super Bowl rings among them, my man Terry Bradshaw, Howie Long, Michael Strahan, and Jimmy Johnson. Hey, it's Super Bowl Sunday, Scott. It can't get much better than this, can it? It's great, man. If you look at this matchup here on paper, this has to be one of the best Super Bowl matchups going into the game that we've seen. The top two defenses in the league, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers should be a great game. I don't think you can beat it. I mean, we'll, we'll see if it matches up to all the hype, but I think the matchups are so close, this could be one of the best ones we've ever had. I love the defenses. The game within the game between Troy Palomalo and Charles Woodson, how those coordinators will use those two players will be a key today. Jimmy hit it right on the head. Two great quarterbacks, explosive quarterbacks, a little bit different styles, but both very explosive. And what a, a great Super Bowl is always circled around great quarterbacks. Well, oh, we should on. see once the game no, starts. That's true. Defenses, baby. Defenses. <laughs> Spoken like their respective positions, I think. But we'll see once the game starts. But Franchises. One founded by a shipping clerk at the Indian Packing Company. The other named after the proud steel mills that forged this great nation. Green Bay and Pittsburgh, where the game of football is in their blood. This is so much bigger than just a football game. These two teams have given us the chance for one night, not only to dream, but to believe. This is a celebration of their journey. And welcome to the Focus Rally America free kick show on Fox. Welcome to this matchup in Super Bowl 45. The Pittsburgh Steelers representing the AFC. The Green Bay Packers from the NFC. Sports world's biggest stage. Representing all the enduring qualities of the great city of Pittsburgh. How about this franchise in their black and gold? Six-time Super Bowl champions. This team's a throwback. Smash mouth. They don't run around you. They run over you. This trip to Dallas wasn't supposed to happen this season, but it did for an eighth time. Maybe anything less is unacceptable from a town built on steel, fueled by a passionate nation, where the word terrible is a good thing. Veteran leaders 
with experience on the big stage, a quarterback looking for redemption, a defense thick as a steel curtain, a mission for ring number seven. Once again, the black and gold. Once again, the AFC champions. Watch out, because here come those Pittsburgh Steelers. There's number seven, their quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. The man in control of the team that won 12 games during the regular season. They beat the Ravens, they beat the Jets, and here they are. One of the most storied franchises in history. The Green Bay Packers' late season surge has put them one victory away from yet another world title. Let me offer you my two bits worth about this bunch right here. This team took the hard way. They took the long road. Toughness defines their season. Expectations? <laughs> well, when you're from a city named Title Town, odds are they're pretty high. These guys were all but forgotten midway through the season. Just one way, the only way into the playoffs was to win. And that's just what they did. A quarterback who refused to believe the hype. Veterans who knew they had one more in them. Players who never, ever quit. In a city hungry for another title. That's what makes champions. These are the NFC champions. These are the Green Bay Packers. They're the number six seed in the NFC, but they don't play like it. 